What's up everyone, Anel here. I've got a bit of a shorter guide for everyone today on how to efficiently grind trust in Torna, the Golden Country. Some of the Golden Beasts are pretty difficult, so it can still be well worth your time to do this even if there's much less content total. And it also helps that there are only six blades, so you can easily do three at a time. This method only takes like an hour to get from S rank to S plus rank, and even less time if you've already gotten some of the items earlier. So there are a few prerequisites you need to do in order to do this. First is obviously you have to complete the charts for every blade you want to get the S+. Plus. And the second is you gotta do two quests to access some of the items you can craft. The first of these is Salvage the Salvager, which is one of the very first quests you get in the game, either in the first part in Torna and Gormot. I cannot remember the exact one. It's this pretty easy to complete quest, so that should not be an issue at all. And the second quest you have to do is called Trail of Destruction, and it appears after you progress further in the story. Talk to Bri in the Tornan capital to get this quest. So these quests give you access to two crafting items called the Heart Compass and Telepathic Bell. So next you need to craft both of these items. And this means that you're going to need to craft four items total since you need mechanical parts. So first of all you got to craft three items with Hugo once it appears anyway and the loading is done. You need to get the Silver Seeker, the Golden Seeker, and then finally the Heart Compass. The Silver and Golden Seeker get, lets you collect items from machines that you'll need to craft these items. And then once you get the Heart Compass, you can see that this item increases trust gain by 50 every time you gain trust in combat through getting to max affinity. And this is very similar to Adam's item called the Telepathic Bell. Which does the exact same thing. So once you get these items crafted, you have to go collect a few Ox Cores known as Hunter's Chemistry afterwards. So this is probably something that should have been in the base game, because it allows you to get 110 combat or 110 trust in combat when you get to max affinity. And that's pretty useful to have, actually. So, like I said, now we need Hunter's Chemistry, so we gotta travel to a specific location in Gormot here. The Sing Breeze Bow. And once you get here, we gotta go track down an enemy, so I'll be doing a bit of walking to get there. Not too hard to find, just head northwest and then go over this tree, and you'll eventually loop back around right and find a cave. I'm going to try to kill these enemies just to demonstrate that they do drop this. I don't know if it's a guaranteed drop, but they drop it fairly often. They drop this Ox Core and Sunlight I-3. These flying enemies known as Lapis Vangs. So we just go to this cave, just kill them, and hopefully they'll drop it. That one didn't because I'm not that lucky. That one didn't either, because I'm not that lucky. Let's try this last one, though. I'm sure the last one will drop it. He'll make the video not suck. And of course he did. Okay, well just trust me. Kill those enemies and they'll drop Hunter's Chemistry. So once you have Hunter's Chemistry, you're going to want to equip them on three blades. You need three of them, like I said. And that'll give you a base affinity increase of 200 when you get into combat. So once you have that done, there isn't really much left to do. We're just going to trans teleport to an early game area here. Herald Heroes Hills is where I personally go. And you just kill enemies and you'll gain 110 trust per fight, essentially. So let me just clear out this area. There's going to be 12 enemies total, but sometimes you might hit two of them at once. So... Probably couldn't see it there. I'll try to get in range of Mithra so you can see the max affinity. So as you can see, all three blades, they get gold affinity instantly. And that's going to give you 110 trust every time you fight one of these enemies. So this is the route I normally take when I go through this area. As you can see, it's about five, maybe three to five seconds per fight. Just got to use one quick art here, kill them out. Those two are running away, so I don't feel like fighting them. But normally you can kill those bunnies if you're a little bit quicker. And then there's four other enemies down here. So every loop, you should probably get close to 1,100 trust. And since you only need 59,000 trust to get to S+, you should be a good bit of the way there also by the time you get to S rank on the chart. 
There probably isn't much you have to do here, and it should be a relatively painless process, and only take about an hour to do. It's not too bad, and only two hours if you want to do it for all six blades. So, yeah, that's how you can quickly gain trust in Torna. There's not really much else to say. Hopefully this guide has been useful to you. I've got a few more guides planned for this game. Not a huge amount of content to make a lot of guides for, but I'll be sure to cover what little content there is, and maybe even make a video on my thoughts on the game, so please look forward to that. Be sure to check out my other Zenu Blade 2 content, and subscribe to my channel to see more. I'll also plug my Twitter once again, it's in the description, I'm starting to use it more, so please follow me there. I don't have much else to say, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a blessed day.